Hello guys, my name is DJ Selector Skills and you're locked into London Red. I'm here to talk about the transfer window, how I feel Liverpool's transfer window is gone, um, the players we've uh, bought, the players we've sold, um, my thoughts on Phil Coutinho. So let's get into it. Um, let's get into the players we've bought. So Salah, Mo Salah, I thought has been, like, I think he's been a very, very good signing. Um, pace, uh, power, he brings to the team, he brings goals, he brings assists, I think he fits into our system like a hand in a glove, I think he's been a very good signing um, and he's complimented Mane well, um, we're not just dependent on Mane's pace no more, you know, so he's been a great signing, um, who else do we buy, so uh, second signing we bought was Solanke, um, I thought Solanke, you know, I don't, like, he wasn't, I didn't get excited about the signing. I wasn't, for one, sitting down and looking at the pictures of his medical. Or I, I didn't really care, to be honest. Um, but he's a decent. He's done well in pre-season. Um, so you know, you give him a chance. Um, let's see what he he brings within the within the coming years. You know, um, decent signing, to be honest. What can I say? Um, Robertson, I'm not going to lie, guys. When I first heard of Robertson, I thought, oh, Jesus, we come to the Champions League for Robertson. You know, we could have got Mendy, we could have got this left back, that left back, this left back, that left back. Um, but you know, against Palace, yeah, he was our best player in my opinion. He was our best player in my opinion. Um, he, he, give, he, he gives us something different. You know, he gives us something uh, from left back that our other left back don't have, um, which is defensively it's good going for like crosses. Um, and when we're playing against teams that are parking the bus, but we need crosses in the box, um, I feel. So he's been a great, uh, not great, good sign, you know, good sign. Um, and then we got on deadline day, Alex Oxley chamberlain If you guys follow me on Twitter, I wanted, to ask, uh, I wanted Chamberlain from like a month ago, a month and a half ago. Um, I think he, he adds proper squad depth in terms of um, he can play midfield, he can play wing back, he can play out wide. Um, so he can play in like, a couple of positions, you know, where I feel that he gives Liverpool something. So, like, for example, say if Mane gets injured, he gives us pace there. If Salah gets injured, he gives us pace there. Um, you know, he gives us pace in midfield, pace and power, something that Genie don't have. Um, I believe, like, when we play against the top teams, we have loads of space. So Genie and Emery look very good in there. When we don't, they look poor. You know, and I've been realistic. I'm just being real. Um, and Chamberlain is that guy that can go past people, commit people. So I believe I, I want Chamberlain to start. I would want Chamberlain to start ahead of Genie. I don't think Genie's had a good start to the season. I don't think Genie has uh, got any better from last season. And he's too safe of a play against teams that park the bus. You know what I mean? So we need people that can commit. So I will play. I will play Ch um, Ch um, Chamberlain. But then again, Coutinho's coming back, so you know we got we got a few um, options there. Um, yeah, so they're the players we bought. I thought we definitely need a centre back. I'm not happy about that at all. Um, again, we're going to have the same problem we've been having for five years, which is conceding goals because we got Mr. Bean, yeah, at, in centre back, which is love him. Mr. Bean, like he's a clown. I don't like him, and I don't know how he's still here to be honest. Um, I'd rather start Clavan. I'd rather start Gomez ahead of this guy. He's just, he's just a ticking time bomb waiting to happen. But, you know, again, we're going to have to get used to it. So, you know, going forward, we're going to get used to it. So, that's how it is. Um, yeah, going out, Origi. He needed some game time to get better, in my opinion. Um, he, so, it's not a bad loan. Um, Lucas, I would have kept him. We kept him for depth. Um, Wisdom. Definitely sell, sell him. And I forgot who, I, I, I don't know about the rest. I know he sold more people. Uh, Sacco, yeah. Um, I wanted to keep Sacco, but, we, you know, he's going to play. So, what, what, what can you, you might as well sell him cash in now. Um, so, yeah. Um, all in all, um, I thought our, our transfer window was six and a half we didn't we haven't rectified our biggest problem and that is at center back you know we haven't rectified it so i'm you know i, I can moan uh you know we was caught tapping up you know and that is 
FSG fault. Again, I don't like FSG. If you know me or you see me on Twitter or whatever, I don't like them. I don't think they're good for Liverpool. Um, you know, they, they don't do things properly. Um, Southampton, don't say Southampton didn't want to sell. That's rubbish. Because if we'd done things properly, we would have had a chance. Even bid. You did bid and reject. It's show statement. And not no 30 million below the asking price. Like, it was never in for Lamar, in my opinion. Like, they bid in like, for, like 50 million. They want 92. It's just, it's just to sit down there and show you guys, but there's no really intention, real intentions because we would have bidded the certain, like for example, with Cater, they wanted to sell it, we bidded close to that thing. You know what I mean? Um, Cater's not a signing for me um, this this summer. I'm not going to get happy about him. I'm not excited. He's not going to be lining up for us this season. He's not going to be um, defending corners, scoring goals, so he's not a signing for me. Um, even though he's a good signing for next summer, um, I'm not going to get happy about that. Uh, but you know, I'm gonna be excited about the season. I'm at, sorry, I'm excited about the season. I'm gonna be positive about the season because we need we, we need trophies now. We need a big we we need the trophies now. We need to go and get a trophy now. We can't as fans pick and choose what we want. I will take third and the league cup. Seriously, I'll take third and the league cup and a good run in the Champions League and FA Cup. Yeah, um, and that's a good season for me. Um, so our standards have got a rise as fans. We've got to want more, more, more. You know what I mean? Um, let's talk about Phil Coutinho. Now, Coutinho, I, I understand why he wanted to leave. Our team ain't really got that. Um, that he's not. He guaranteed, he's more guaranteed to win at Barcelona than us. Um, he ain't won a trophy at us. So, you know, it, I understand why he wants to go. It's how he did it. You know what I mean? I, I, there's young fans that love him. There's young fans that adore him. Even older fans that adore him. And he's just paying them back like that. I don't think it's irreplaceable. I would have sold him. You know, I would have got Lamar in um, and move, moved on because it, it's very risky now. Because if he doesn't want to turn up, oh, he's got Brazil, they, he's going to be in that team. All he needs to do is set foot on the pitch, don't ever need to play too well, and he'll be in the team. Or be in the squad for the World Cup. So, you know, it's risky. But I hope he comes back and does the thing because we need him. We still need him. You know, we, we still need him. So, um, going forward, I feel we've got a good squad. We just that one centre back away from it, you know. We could have got Herbert there on loan, and then got Van Dijk late next season. You know, that's what I mean. Oh, there's Manolas, there's there's Kudabali, cool there's, there's there's people out there that we could have got, and now we've got four centre backs. We're a massive injury away from Mr Bean and Clavan, you know, and that's not good enough. So um, again, I give it six and a half, yeah, six and a half out of ten. Um, but we have rectified the problems going forward. So yeah. Um, guys, I just want to say thank you for w watching this channel. Um, thank you for giving me so much love on Twitter. Um, if you ain't got my Twitter, please follow me. Um, you know, we can interact. If you see me at games, um, I'll be doing vlogs on this channel and what have you. If you see me at games, make sure you say hi, whatever. We can just talk about Liverpool. Um, we could do, you know, I'm easy. We, you know, let's, let's, we're all Liverpool fans and let's all get, let's all get together now. And hopefully we can get trophies this season. Um, so if you've liked the video, put a thumbs up. Um, you, you know, subscribe. Um, I'll be very, very grateful. Um, comment as well. Um, let's 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 get these trophies this season and let's back the boys because I would be backing the boys. You know. Um, and also, guys, on this channel, um, what should I do? Match build ups. Um, what would you like to see in this channel um, going forward? Um, if you could put it in the comments below, I'd be very grateful, you know. So have a nice international break. Um, and, yeah, let's, let's get back at the City game and let's, uh, let's go forward, you know what I mean? Let's, let's, let's back the boys, you know what I mean? So thank you. Peace.